Somebody say, I love Nigeria. Some people are not saying it. It's okay, I understand. And uh, we have to take a decision in about less than two months' time. I need to let I have discovered that it's the society that reproduces the leaders. When we shout about the leaders, we are the one that produce them. We are the one that put people that we want there. And they represent who we are. How many of you, by now, you don't have to say it. You have a candidate in your mind you want to vote so, for. Can I see your hand? You already thinking. Can I see your hand? Raise it very well. I you have so already in my mind to so. Raise it. I'm not asking you to say it. This is not no, a political no, group. Raise it. You are let go. Okay, let's say it this way. How many of you have a candidate in your mind you wish we win? Can you raise your hand? Okay. Okay. Now, those of you that are going to vote, I want to pray a prayer for you. And I want your loud amen. That man you want to vote for, may your children have his character in Jesus' name. Somebody is doing like this. Why? You didn't get him. That man you want to vote for. That man you are rooting for. That man you are shouting on Facebook and crying about. May your children, children, have his destiny in Jesus' name. Can you see your hand? Can you see your hand? You are not saying amen. Ah, Sammy. Ah, Sammy. Uh -huh. Go and think. Uh -huh. If you don't want a leader that your children will look like, why do you want to vote for him? If you know you don't want a leader that will be the picture of your own children, why do you want to go and cast your vote for such a person? I want to pray again. Whoever you vote for, you destiny, good or bad, come upon your children. It is well. I said this because I want to take the election serious. Don't put your vote on anybody. Your heart cannot tell you. This is a picture of our future. If you do it, you are bringing a curse upon your children. Can I see your hand? Can I see your hand? 